Call now for the 2010 Steiner Tractor Parts Catalog, featuring the largest selection of new aftermarket parts for your antique or classic tractor. On this Tractor Fanatic webisode, we'll join our host Rich Reagans in southern Indiana for the grand tour of Chris Wathen's Tractor Compound. Okay, we just got here, took a quick look around. There are some really cool things to see here. Check this out. As soon as we pulled in, we just, there was so much eye candy to see. All the tractors, the loaders, the cranes, the, I mean, it's one thing after another, just cool stuff to look at. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger's tricycle from when he was a boy. <sighs> Look at this thing, man. A bunch of big metal s That is just heavy. <sighs> when I first came out here and uh, met Chris, you could tell he was really, this was, this was what he was into. He's gone all over the country picking up these little, well, little, these big, gigantic machines. Man, anytime you see somebody that's, that's that into what they're doing, it's always fun to hang out with them. <laughs> you gotta have one. Okay, first of all, Chris, this is one of the coolest places I've ever seen in my entire life. And I wouldn't be standing out in this weather just to see something <laughs> dumb. Tell me what you got here. Well, this, this is one of those places, I don't care who you are, you come here, I can guarantee you that you're gonna see something that you've never seen before. Like heat? Well, yeah, I can't guarantee that today, but, uh, you know, come back in a couple of months, maybe. But, uh, you know, this is our derelict row here. You know, a lot of guys, <clears throat> they really like the, the, the old, the dead stuff. We checked out the derelicts over there, and I'm looking at how much work it would be to bring some of those back. These are quite unique. Most of them are. These two here are a couple of uh, 23, 1923 1020s. That's the first year for the 1020. That, that's what makes them unique. Yeah. Uh, real nice uh, W30 here. These are these are all McCormicks. It's so funny because he's got stuff behind stuff behind stuff behind stuff. And look at this one. Yeah, single it's wheel a single in the front. front. How many years did they do that? Uh, on the F12s and 14s, they did it throughout the whole production. Is this the uh, original handbrake? With, with this? One? Well, yeah, yeah. He had to stop it from rolling somehow. Yeah. Now, are these ones that are just going to stay here and they're done, or you're going to take parts off of them, or you're going to redo them? I don't. I don't generally part anything <laughs> out, but uh, you know, Father Time has a way of changing everything. You know, uh, my maybe my ambitions were a little tall. I've got more stuff here than I can ever do anything with, and I realize that. This is an old WK40, and I'm going to take you out and show you an old Huber cross motor. Okay. Derelict. 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 I got a lot of cousins like that. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got them right by the road so people can see. I think it might al almost be like a like a little calling card, you know, come on in and check it out. You ever put them to work when they come out? Well, yeah, I'll show you the tour, but you gotta... Haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. He does corn, soybeans, and he gets to work with his actual toys. Call now for the 2010 Steiner Tractor Parts Catalog, featuring the largest selection of new aftermarket parts for your antique or classic tractor. With 45,000 square feet, Steiner Tractor Parts makes every effort to have your parts in stock. Call 800-234-3280 or visit SteinerTractor.com. Yeah, this is an old derelict uh, uh, cross motor Huber. I uh, have all the parts to it. Um, but it's, it's a pretty unusual piece. Perfect for your before and after pictures. Right. I'm, I'm guessing this is before. Yeah, uh, this gotcha. before, yeah. Okay, what, yeah. you said cross motor? Yeah, the, cro the motor actually sits, you know, as opposed to most of the time they'll sit in line up here yeah. under the hood. Well, this one sits across ways. Kind of like those Japanese cars, they put them in sideways. Yeah. They you don't have a lot of Japanese stuff here, I'm thinking. No, not, no? not much. Most of the stuff not made much. in America, huh? Yeah. It's not just one thing. He's not just into tractors. I mean, there's 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 cranes and trucks and combines and whatever this thing is. I don't know, but it's something to get your fingers caught in. But he collects these too. <laughs> this is an old two-row uh, Massey Harris corn picker, self-propelled corn picker, which that was unusual back in the day because it was self-propelled. Most of the corn pickers back then 
We're towed, but it's unique because it is self-propelled. And I think the cool thing about coming out to a place like this is you get to really see history. And when you think about it, it's all these machines. Who was, who was working them? What was the story? What was the family story behind this actual machine? They bought it, they might have made a mint, they might have lost it all. You don't know what, who had that? You know, when you're looking at those old machines just rusting, that might have been somebody's pride and joy. Now, once again, it is somebody's pride and joy. This is an old Wagner. This is a 1958 Wagner. It's a four-wheel drive. I know it's kind of tough to see, but uh, in, this is a 58, and in 1958, this was the biggest uh, biggest tractor, biggest wheel say, tractor out there. Yeah, yeah, you didn't see this kind of stuff. No, it's on the list. Everything here, even this whole Ford is just cool, <laughs> you know? Then he took us over here and showed us the working tractors and all the stuff that he's still using. Okay, tell me about this big dude here. When did you get this? Um, I think you got that back in 05, and it sat here for, Look maybe it was 04. I think we got it in 04. And you refurbished this one? Yep. Now, did you did you rebuild the motor, all that good stuff Everything's too? Everything's been rebuilt. Everything on, on it's it. yeah. been redone. When I bought it, the deal was he guaranteed the transmission and he guaranteed the axles. Right. Everything else had attention. Good God! How much does one? How much does one of these tires cost? Well, see, I bought these tires in 05 because I just had a, a premonition that rubber was going to be going up, and yeah. it did. Right. And these tires are now $3,200 a piece. No kidding. God, one. that's at least like 5,000 bucks for the whole thing, right? Yeah, at least. I'm yeah. a math guy. <laughs> <laughs> and these aren't retreads, man. These are new. Yeah. You know? Golly. Wow. Okay, it's got a wood grain steering wheel. <laughs> How cool is that? Man, you could pick up chicks in this thing, Chris. You could, yeah. I mean, in some town, up, there's a can... market. When you come rolling in, you're gonna be like Billy Ray Cyrus. This is cool. <laughs> can we fire this up? Can we drive it? Can I run something over with it? On our next episode of Tractor Fanatic, we'll check out more with Chris Waffen's tractor collection. And Rich will get to finish things off with some old school digging. <laughs>